Hello brothers and sisters, welcome to my new playlist in which I solve Wasi Pass questions. In this playlist, um, I solve elective math pass questions for the year 2016. Wasi, not the North Deck, the Wasi exam that takes place a little later, but this is for those that, you know, the May June one. You can see it, right? Is it somewhere here? No? Okay, it's probably on the paper one. Unfortunately, I didn't get the paper one, so I hope you guys can bear with me. So without much ado, let's jump right in. So section A, 48 marks, answer all questions. All questions carry equal marks. Now what you want to do if you are a candidate is that for section A, you really want to score every single question here. These, the questions here are basic, you can easily score everything. And if you really want to make an A, you have to ace this part. You don't want to make an error here, all right? And actually, these videos, I'm probably going to uh, be able to solve one or two questions per video because I don't want them to be too long so that they will be boring or something. And... Uh, so you can tell I'm probably very boring guy. Anyway, let's jump right in. Question number one says, a binary operation delta is defined on the set of real numbers R by P delta Q equal to P squared minus 2PQ. A, determine whether or not delta is commutative. And B, find the truth set of P delta 4 equal to 9. Okay, so let me open my workbook. And so the question says del P delta Q is defined as P squared minus 2PQ. Now one thing you should know about binary operations is that whenever they say this particular operator is defined on this, that is how you basically deal with whatever numbers, whatever, you know, arguments, or in programming terms, if you've ever done any programming, whatever numbers have been given, this is how you deal with them. So P delta Q means you take the first number, square it, minus two, times the first number, times the second number, and then you solve it. And whatever answer you get, that is, that is the that is the effect this delta has on these two. So this is how this delta generates something out of these guys. It squares the first one, then it subtracts two times p times q two times the first number times the second number from the p squared and then generates an answer. So that's pretty much how binary operations work. So for instance, they could they could define another operator say star a star b to be called to say a cube minus b squared minus a squared minus b a b it could be anything so that means <laughs> that means what you see it you take this guy you cube it minus this guy squared b squared minus this guy again squared minus a times b and so on and so forth so which means if you were to be given two star three, sorry, this is three, my hand, sorry for my handwriting, it's very bad. This gives two cubed minus three squared minus two squared minus two times three. By the way, when they are written this way, I hope you know that this means a times b. And then you solve it, and then whatever you get is the answer. So that is what they are telling you by defining delta in this way. So this means if you were given 2 delta 3, it means you take 2 and square it, minus 2 times 2 again, the first number. Take note that this 2 is a constant, times the second number, which is 3. And this gives um, 4 minus 12, which is minus 8. But then that, this is just to explain the binary operation basically so, 
what the first part of the question was asking was is delta commutative now what does it mean for an operator to be commutative <laughs> let's take the multiplication 5 times 2 is equal to 10 this is a fact if you don't know it now you know or go and review your multiplication table now what about 2 times 5 you see what we did here we just turned it what does it give it gives 10 now because these two give the same answer meaning however you place the two arguments of this operator it gives the same answer that means times the times operator is commutative this clear i hope so so by asking us whether delta is commutative or not they are telling us that we should test if p delta q is equal to q delta p if they are commutative then they will be equal but if they are not i mean why am i using uh, plurals if it is commutative if this guy is commutative then this expression will be the same it will be equal but if it is not it won't be equal so let's test it so are they equal let's see p delta q is defined by p squared minus 2 p q so this means this guy right here is the same as p squared minus 2 p q this must be equal to this person here this expression here using the same definition it gives q squared remember q is not the first person so it becomes p here minus 2 q p is this okay all right now as we can see um well just to uh solve it as simple as possible you can do the basic mathematics technique by sending one of these guys that way so that you get something like p squared equal to q squared minus 2 q p plus 2 p q now you, you can clearly see that these guys are the same and it's plus and minus so they can just cancel out and what we have left is p squared equal to q squared are these two the same no p squared is not equal to q squared therefore the delta operator is not commutative is this okay and that is the solution now if you want to test your answer to check whether your solution is right you can actually just Put real numbers here so let's take 5 and 2 like I did so 5 delta 2 must not be equal to 2 delta 5 because we just said it's not commutative so these two must not be equal so let's see so 5 delta 2 is the same as 5 squared remember the first number 5 squared minus 2 5 2 must not be equal to 2 squared minus 2, 2, 5. What do we get here? This is not equal. What do we get here? 5 squared is 25 minus 2 times 5, 10 minus uh, times 2, 20. 20 is not equal to 2 squared is 4 minus 2 times 2, 4. 4 times 5, 20. Clearly, this side gives 5. It's not equal to this guy gives minus 16. So we can see that they are not equal, which fortifies our, um, our proof that delta is not commutative. So we are correct. By the way, you don't, you don't have to show this on the answer paper. This is just for 
you to check whether your solution was correct or not. So this solves question A. All right. Okay. I think I should like stop this video and then answer the next question in the next video. So if you guys like this, click the like button. And if you want the new videos to really reach you faster, you should just subscribe to this channel, right? And you should share it to other people. This is free, right? You've gotten it. You've gotten this content for free. Why not just share it to other people so that they can also enjoy? There are so many other people who want to study to pass WASI, right? So just do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Clean the ball.